So we're looking, we're looking at Jay McFadden's uh, Unit Eight. Um, so I'm going to be looking at all the processing sketches he's created um, to make some generative art. So this one's using Perlin noise. And he's got this sort of smoky effect going on here. So I'll stop that one. Right, let's have a look at the code very quickly. Okay, a nice short, succinct program. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Nothing's happening. I think it's a work in progress with this one. Um, he's, he's, you can see what he's going to try and do. He's looking to make a, uh, a blob on the screen um, move in a certain direction, um, depending on a random number. So if we get a 1, for example, it will move in a northeasterly direction. Um, he hasn't actually done the uh, the code to produce the blob, but we've got work in progress there. Let's have a look at some more. So we're just going through various folders um, in Jay's work. So it's going to be a little bit uh, laggy as we open up processing. Okay, this one's called white noise. Let's see what this does. Okay, so another sort of generative art pattern there um, using the random function. So a nice, short, but effective program. Let's close that one down. He's got one up here called more generative art. Let's have a look at here. Okay, so I'm moving the mouse and we're producing this image on the screen. Uh, as soon as I release the mouse, it stops. So we can create some patterns. I'm going to right click the mouse button. Okay, no, it's capital, sorry. I'm just looking here. So, key R should do something. Yeah, so um, I pressed R and it's reset it. So let's draw another one. So I'll try and get the keyboard in as well. So here's me pressing R, and it's reset. Okay, so we've got some, some artwork that's being produced interactively, but also with some controlled randomization. So let's close those down. Is there any on here we haven't seen? Okay, so I'm going to stop the video there and see what else Jay has um, produced.